Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Ramadan time. <laughs> One of the five pillars of Islam is fasting in Ramadan. Ramadan teaches us self-control, sacrifice, empathy for those who are less fortunate and encouraging actions in generosity and charity. Let's move on to the good deed of the day. The good deed of the day is to feed a fasting person. Samiha, you know that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Whoever feeds the person who is breaking his fast, he will have his reward for his fasting without decreasing anything from the reward of the fasting person." Masha Allah. Now let's move on to the hadith. <laughs> An Abdullah ibn An Abdullah ibn Amr radiyallahu anhu qala lam yakun an-nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fahishan wala mutafahishan wa kana yaqul inna min khiyarikum ahsanakum akhlaqan Abdullah bin Amr radiyallahu anhu reported that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was neither a fahish, one who speaks bad words, nor a mutafahish, one who speaks obscene, evil words to make pe- people laugh. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam never used bad language. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to say, the best amongst you are those who have the best manners and character. So, Samiha, you have to have the best mar- manners and character towards anybody, okay? <laughs> Let's have a look at the lessons of this hadith. Islam calls for good manners, such as staying away from harm, always smiling and doing good to others. Number two, good manners make you closer to the status of our Prophet wasallam in the hereafter, also known as the Akhirah. Number three, we should always respect others and treat them kindly. Number four, good manners increases Allah's love for us. Did you know that? Number five. (laughs) Number five, even high-ranking people should have the best manners. Let's move on to the discussion section. Yay. Number one, what is one of the ways to increase Allah's love for us? Um... No. <laughs> what is one of the ways to increase Allah's love for us? Good manners. Yeah, good we should manners. always have good manners towards people and Allah will love us more. Yes, <laughs> me, Number two. Should we tease and make fun of our friends at school just to make others laugh? Mm, no. Yeah, because that is not very nice. Yeah. That's mean. You should yeah. always be good and you should not do bad things, especially yeah. at school. Number three, discuss some examples of how we can show good manners to our teachers or parents. So how can we show good manners to our teachers or parents? Goodly. Yeah, but how? Like, give me an example. An example? Should I give you an example? So... For example, when you're at school and your teacher is saying something, you should be listening to them. Mm-hmm. Okay? Even sitting nice and quiet. Yes. And if someone puts you and starts you getting in his mouth, <laughs> that's what your teacher does. And when you're acting towards your parents, you should be nice to them. You should be tolerating and you should show good manners towards them. Now that we finished our hadith, let's move on to Surah Lani time. Yesterday I told you Surah Nasser. Can you say it now? Nasser. Yeah. Okay. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Ida ja. Oh oh oh. Ida ja. Nasr Allahi wal Fatih. Wanaite naza ya dhulu na fi din Allahi al Fajr. Fasab fasabbe bi hamdi wa bi kastaufi. Inna hu kana tawaba. Well done, Masha Allah. 
this is the end of the video, unfortunately. See you tomorrow. Assalamu alaikum. Bismillah, bika, nadi, khalaq, khalaq, in.